Welcome to the Smart Board Classroom Basics training video as we take a look at the Smart Notebook software specifically and learn a little bit about how that software perhaps works. Uh, this is the last video in this series, so you've already explored the classroom, you've already explored the board a little bit, and the trays, and the pens. Now let's just take a deeper look into what the Smart Notebook software can do. You'll notice on my screen I've already got a Smart Notebook file open. So I double clicked on that notebook link, that icon, and now I've got a notebook open. A couple of things that I want to make you aware of. This left hand side is the page view. Currently I only have one page but I will show you how to add multiple pages. And along the top are some of the features that we can put um, information, so text, pens, shapes onto a specific page. You'll notice that I am not up in front of a classroom. I am actually sitting at my computer doing this video. So if I wanted to write something on here, I'm going to select one of these pens, and it now gives me a bunch of different options. Let's just select red. And now I'm using the mouse to just kind of type a message that says hello. Maybe I want to go, instead of a pen, I want it to be a crayon, and I want it to be a, a blue or purple crayon. You'll notice now that it comes out as a crayon. So we have lots of different pen and writing tools up here available within the actual notebook software for you to write right on top of this page. <clears throat> we can make scribbles. I can do dash lines. Um, we can actually put lines themselves in here so that if I want a line, I can just draw a solid line. Now, you'll notice that highlighted on the screen is still the marker tool itself. Let's say I want to, you know, get rid of one of these. I can go grab the select button and there's a box around it. So I could either erase it by using the eraser or simply pressing the delete button on my keyboard. If I want to use the eraser, I've got some different sizes to choose from and it'll slowly erase that mark. Now let me show you something very cool. Instead of having to go back and forth all over the page to erase, if I click and draw a big circle around the information and then click in the middle, it all disappears. It's called an around the globe trick to erasing. So those are some of the writing features and the erasing features. We can also put shapes in here. A circle, maybe I want a different kind of a rectangle, maybe I want a triangle, a different sort. So there's those different shapes. If I want to move one, I got to go back and select the arrow, and then I can take and move those shapes wherever they want to be. If I want to color them in, I highlight it so that it's selected. Here's my color palette. Let's make the fill color red, and let's make the outline blue. So now you'll see that it, it changed those colors. Kind of looks like I'm making a jack-o'-lantern here. But anyway, that's how we can kind of use some of those different tools that we have up here. You can insert a text box. So then if I click and drag a text box, I can now type a message. I can highlight it and change the font size maybe to 22, change that font size to Bauhaus, make it bold, and things of that nature. So it does have some of those small Microsoft Word capabilities if you would like. So that's a lot of what we can do on these different pages, just some basics. You notice it gave me another text box because that's still highlighted. I want to select an arrow so that I can maybe move the word hello inside of a box and things of, of that nature. So a lot of this appears what's happening on the individual pages. But let's say I want another new page. You'll notice right in here is an add page, or down here on the bottom left in my case is an add page. Now this pane, this left-hand window pane, might actually be on the other side on your desktop, depending on how it's set up on that desktop. So you can move it back and forth. So I'm going to click that plus button to add a new page, and it inserts this blank page where I can then perhaps insert some more shapes. Maybe I want to put in a star. Maybe I want to put in a heart. You know, maybe I want to type something in here. And then I want to insert another page. Well, now I want to maybe go back a page. I want to make some changes. So I can go back or forward. If I click on this white pages button, you'll notice that I have three pages currently started. So there are those three pages. And uh, let's say I want this blank one to go in the middle. 
click and drag, you'll see that blue marker kind of pop up. I now have moved it into the middle of those other two. So that's a lot of what you can do within just the Smart Notebook software and build things that way. The second button is called a Content Editor. It's um, where we have a lot of the, the clip art and the interactive media. I'm going to go search for a timer. So in that search box, I just type timer. You can either click search or hit enter. It'll give you a couple of options. Here is an interactive media file. So this timer, I can click and drag, and it'll insert it. Or you double click, and it inserts it right here. So this timer, these are seconds, these are minutes. It's actually interactive. If I click play, the timer will count down. And it provides a beep to let you know that the time is up. So that is our content editor. Feel free to search for anything. You know, if you wanted a picture of a dog, there are 16 different pictures of dogs that you can insert. Or perhaps you want a dog that barks. You can insert this dog. You'll notice down here is a little microphone. If I click it, the dog does bark. So it's very interactive, the notebook software itself, as you build things. Um, if I go back to this page and add one more blank page, we can have anything else that we wanted to put in here as well. Now, some of the other cool features within SmartBoard is that you can actually take pictures and capture something from a screen so that whatever you take a picture of will show up in this blank page. So a lot of different features. We have some, some more advanced smart board training available through Talent Development if you're interested in how this notebook software itself works. But the other part that I would like to show you is that if you choose to open up a PowerPoint, so here's my PowerPoint, uh, you can actually write right over the top of the PowerPoint so that if I try and show you that I've got a PowerPoint up, I can actually copy some of these slides. If I copy the information and then go back into my notebook, I can go ahead and paste that information right in here. So you'll notice that I can take the information right off my PowerPoint and put them right into a notebook file to maybe help me be able to show and illustrate things very similar. So you do have that option. If you're in a classroom setting, you will also be able to write directly over the top of this image by selecting one of the pens from the trays and, and highlighting or drawing anything that you might want to draw on here. The last thing that I would like to show you is how you save one of these documents so that as you save them, you want to understand that not all students have this software program on their computers. In fact, probably nobody does. So when we save these, we can save as a notebook file to our direct folder or a zip drive, and it'll come up as .notebook. It looks like this little blue notebook, and that'll save it to your hard drive or to your, your, your flash drive so that you can open it later and make more changes. But for students, what we would want to do is export as a PDF. File, export as a PDF. And the reason we want it as a PDF is that most students have access to view these PDFs in a much easier format than we do the notebook. Now you'll have some different options where you can print thumbnails. If I go handouts, it'll give them these blank lines. And I'm going to go to medium handouts so that there's maybe only two on a slide. Or you can go to full page and they'll get the entire page. You can put a date on there or you can put a header to, you know, to title it as Smart Classroom basics and then it'll put that information up on the actual PDF and the date and then you just click save and it'll ask you where do you want to save that so it's going to save it right now in a current drive that I have access to on my computer so again as you're saving for students make sure to export it as a PDF as always, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to clifford.goodacre at nwtc.edu or even leave me a message on my phone number at 920-498-6979. I hope you enjoyed your smart classroom training. Feel free to go into a classroom, try it out, play around with it a little bit, and shoot questions our way. Have a great day.